Hey everybody. So I am sitting on the floor wrapping presents. And it just seems so overwhelming. Um, I feel like every time I get to a point where it's almost done, <laughs> I remember somebody or something and I'm like, crap, I got to go back to the store. So it's really becoming quite a pain. Um, but today is a beautiful day and the kids all have like half a day. And then tomorrow they don't have school. So that's pretty cool because then Ben and I can hang out. Um, things are good. I think I have a dialysis appointment tomorrow. Um, but I also think I might head down to Bisbee tomorrow. I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens. My appointment tomorrow is just to talk to Dr. Olivier and talk to like, or talk about what's been going on in my exchanges and so forth. And this is weird. My hair looks very pink and it's not. <laughs> it's actually this kind of purple. But I just noticed that right now. In fact, the couch also looks, this is a weird filter. Anyways, uh, so it's not really a big, big deal. Um, I have to see him face to face, I guess, just because that's what insurance companies want you to do. Um, which is fine, because I mean, you can probably lie your way through a phone call about things, but face to face, is probably a good thing to do every once in a while so it's just hectic at this time of the year because I have so many things I'm still trying to get done um so yeah some sad things though have been happening not not particularly to me but my daughter um storage unit got broken into and so uh their camping stuff was stolen the baby stuff was stolen um, the weird thing is, is that it's somebody who had a code because at their complex, in order to get into that unit, you have to have a code. You have to have a code to get into the trash. Um, you have to have a code to get into their little, um, office area thing. It's not even an office. It's like a, it's like a weird storage thing for the apartment complex or something like that. Um, and... I had presents sent to them through Amazon and they did not arrive or they arrived and somebody took them, which is what I think happened because um, when Amazon delivers a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times they will take a picture of the place they put their item and it ironically looks so similar to what our office storage unit looks like. Um, but when we get our packages from the office, then we go to the office and they go to the storage unit and take it. And so I thought it was weird because I hadn't gotten a picture before of my package in our storage or in our office's closet. It's not really storage, it's like a big giant closet that they keep everybody's packages in. And so, but the, you know, whatever. Um, but now that I think about it, I think that was either my daughter's or someplace they took it wrong <laughs> and it sucks because it was Gus and Sean's present I wasn't I don't know so I have to call them about that um, which is annoying um, I did contact them through their app so hopefully Amazon will I don't know what happens like I have a friend who shops consistently <laughs> like a shopaholic and she's so great but we were talking about how she returns something back to like a, a public place like I always go to UPS down the street because when I order from Amazon you can start your order online and then you take the literal thing to UPS or there's a couple places you can go and then from that point they print out a receipt that says that they did receive it and then that processes your return to Amazon and uh, she sent like this $80 chair and it never got to Amazon. And we we're like, how do we know that people there, this is horrible, but again, somebody just stole baby clothes, so maybe not horrible. But who, um, but who knows if 
an employee steals something. Maybe you just think, oh, well, Amazon has enough stuff <laughs> or Amazon will never miss it. And then there's times where I've had to send stuff back to Amazon and they're like, oh, no, forget it. Don't worry about it. We're going to credit your account and just keep it, throw it away, give it away, whatever you want to do. And it's like, that's crazy. Um, but that does happen. And so I just, I don't know. So... So I think it's just terrible that these things go on this time of year because I don't know anybody who can just run out and buy, rebuy everything that they need. Um, it's just terrible that people do that um, this time of the year, especially because it's such a big season for gift giving. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to keep Chris. Oh, hold on. Okay, <laughs> so my video got interrupted because um, I had to talk to Verizon, who was calling about my phone bill, and I got it streamed out after an hour and 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, and 90% of that time was not talking to anybody, but waiting for the guy to figure it out. <laughs> So, nonetheless, now my phone bill is lower, which is a plus, and I guess I'll, uh, I'll be able to woo, figure out a new budget because I need to do that. Um, cell phones are expensive, and upgrading is even worse because it's like you're paying for the phone and the service for the phone is ridiculous. I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't even know where I was going with everything else. But I was just wrapping presents, and so now when I get home, I'm going to have to wrap presents, um, finish wrapping the presents, and get things organized because I've just got to do that. I need to take a nap. I called my mom to figure out what they were doing for Christmas, and I was just so tired. I just want to take a long nap. But as I was talking to my mom, I realized I needed to give my daughter a call, which I did, and then uh, decided that I was going to talk to her for about an hour. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, I realized, oh my gosh, I have to go pick up Ben. So here we are, picking up Ben. And then this is his last day of school for 2023. He'll be ready for um, 2024 when he goes back to school. It's crazy. Look at us. It's December. It's a beautiful day here in Tucson. One little tiny cloud up there. Other than that, it's pure sunshine. Yep. Um, so along with feeling overwhelmed, now I've scheduled in a trip to go down to Bisbee, which is fine. So I called my daughter to just kind of check in after, I think I told you that her storage unit thing got broken into. Apparently it was hers and her neighbors. So that just really sucks. And I'm really sad for her that that happened. Um, and it's dumb that they took clothes that were the baby. Um, plus sentimental things like she uh, had some preemie, some of his preemie clothes in there. So, you know, for a first time mom, that can be pretty upsetting. Um, but so far, everything's good. I mean, he's good. He's doing really good. He's babbling along. He's not really saying a lot of words, but he's got so many teeth now. And, um, he has, um, he just went hiking, um, with his dad, which is super cool, I think. And what a trooper, because it's heavy, like to carry a kid anyways is heavy, but to have him, um, in that pack thing, I guess is an easier way to carry them. Um, but his dad does it. He likes it. So that's cool. 
Uh, tonight we're going to go over to Winter Haven, which is a neighborhood famously known here in Tucson that has the neighborhoods all full of Christmas lights and Christmas theme activities. And so um, last year we didn't go, but this year because we have Charlie and Richie, I think it'll be just so fun for them to be able to see it and for us to be able to get out and just stroll Charlie around in his little stroller and uh, have him be outside and experience Christmassy times. Even though today, like I said, is just beautiful. <laughs> day and it's not even looking like it's going to rain hopefully that was in the forecast and I'm hoping that it doesn't rain because I do have friends who are playing at Winter Haven and so it'd be a shame if they were rained out plus it makes it a little more miserable to walk around when it's raining even though I would do it but with two little kids might not be the best choice um honestly right now I am burning to death like I'm kind of in the shade and kind of out of the shade and I'm like wow this is pretty hot um I think today's just reaching to be 75 which is so gross because I wish it was really really cold but that's okay um might be headed to Bisbee tomorrow we'll see we'll see how that goes so anyways I'll talk to you guys later have a good day I'll talk to you soon bye-bye